Everyone's not perfect. Even Justin Bieber needs some editing. Well, a lot of editing. But you can edit your tracks in Track Editor. All right, let's take a look at the pitch bend. Now, this is really cool because you can write in your own pitches and graph them out. Now, this time around, I'm going to focus on this, uh, this instrument, which GarageBand titled it Constellation, because it does have a spacey type of sound. Anyway, let's solo it out and let's take a listen. All right, so as you can imagine, it's, uh, it kind of sounds like a, a spaceship going through space and traveling from the moon to the Mars and the no longer a planet Pluto, but a giant rock. And let's go ahead and take a look at Pitch Bend. And the way we get there is through selecting the view and just hit the bottom, the arrow, and we go down to Pitch Bend. And that gives us the graph of the Pitch Bend. So the pitch bend is, one thing you have to remember about the pitch bend is zero represents where the note is currently at. So if you want the note to go higher or lower, you gotta make sure you're starting from zero to either 60 or zero to either negative 60. So let's take one more listen to what we have and then I'll map out something for you guys to show you example. Okay, so that's our spacey sound of an astronaut zooming through space. And let's say we wanted to turn it sour. Let's say this, uh, this astronaut dude is in space and he's totally trying to land on this comet who's, that's going to run into the world and blow it up. So he's going to save the world by landing on the comet and... Uh, placing bombs on it, destroying it into m many little pieces, which does kind of sound like a movie. Anyway, uh, you can definitely make the sound go sour where, let's say, the astronaut misses the comet and the comet totally hits Earth, but he's just left alone by himself and he's the last human being alive. That's That's really an epically bad situation to be in. But anyway, let's go ahead and change that sound. And I'm gonna hold down op Apple again, and that gives us the pen tool, just like before. That's what's so universal about the pen tool. So I'm gonna place one dot on the Z